Hello, I'm Barbara from Androscoggin, and this is my friend Danny, and we're going to be doing the Graffiti Memorial Wall project. And what we first are going to do, people at home, you're going to have a roll of this brick wall, and you're going to unroll it so that you can have a good playing field here. And one thing that we also want to let people know is that real graffiti artists always ask permission before they ever do anything on a public wall. Um, it's just a, a rule that they have. A lot of people think they just paint on anything, and some do, but a real artist is gonna have permission. So I just wanted to put that out there in case anybody gets any wild ideas. <laughs> um, so, and also if any of you want to look at some examples of graffiti, we included a website and you can check out other types of graffiti. One of the main kinds of graffitis is a memorial wall. And memorial walls often go up with permission <laughs> in an area where somebody important to the community has passed away. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a graffiti, graffiti wall specific to your grandfather. Do you wanna say your grandfather's name? Um, his name was Danny, in fact, which is also my name. Mm -hmm. um, his name was Danny Blevins. Okay, and so we're going to honor him by making a memorial wall for him. Okay, so here, what should I do? Okay, well, I can help you out with that. First, we roll out the paper, and we're going to start with like a portrait. And portraits can either be very realistic, or they can be symbolic or they can be a cartoon kind of shape. It's whatever is gonna be meaningful for you. And the artist will generally choose where on the wall they want to have the portrait and how big they want to have it. So for like, for like something, what if I did like uh, his like curly hair and like a uh, gray on the wall? Yep, that's a perfect, so yep. We can just find a spot here and we can kind of so in the interest of full disclosure for this little video that we're doing, I know Danny's grandfather, and that is a perfect rendition of his wonderful trademark curly silver hair. Um, do you want to add anything else to that? Mm, okay. What can we add? Um, I'm trying to think of something. He always had like uh, his uh, vest on him. The, it was like a gray vest that would like come around his neck over here. And um, it didn't have any arms, so it would like come down. Then it wouldn't have any. Yeah. That's kind of neat. Is there anything else that sort of mm. reminds you of him? Anything what on his? What else could uh -huh. I like do? Check over that away. He did always um have like his violin on him. Okay. So what could be a good color for that? kind of music did he like? Um, he actually, he likes quite a bit of music. I, one of like his favorite things was like a Christmas song. Yeah, and he, and he liked country music, right? And we can just do like a black. So we can, here, let's make this one work. So we can do a white then. And that part that you just did, what is that part? Uh, it's kind of like the rest part that you can use for your own. Okay. And then we can have this. Even something like... That's some pretty good detail that you have on there too. Like this. Sometimes he'd play his music and I could hear it over at my house. 
I guess that's a turnabout is fair play because sometimes we did the same thing. Yeah. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. So there's the portrait, and there's a little thing that he's kind of like famous for liking one of his hobbies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So symbols are also a, a big part of graffiti, and symbols can be all kinds of different things. In a way, your violin is a symbol of yeah. how your granddad liked music. But would there be other kinds of things? Quite often there's things like birds or hearts or um, lots of times you see flames um, and they all symbolize something. Um, if somebody was very strong, they might draw um, boxing gloves or something like that. Um, if you think of something that is particular to your granddad, could you make a symbol out of it? I kind of wanted to add on to this with maybe like um, a bow that would go with the violin. So it could come up here, then come back down. You checked out that violin and the bow pretty carefully, didn't you? Did you ever learn how to play? Did he ever try teaching you? Um, I never actually learned how to play, but I do think I still have like one of his violin, like, um, at my house, I'm pretty sure. Or yeah. And um, what's something else I could do? Here, let's use a different color. He could do like. So he could do a black handle. And um, maybe like a hammer because he really likes building. Oh yeah, so that's a good one. So you've made a hammer, and one of the things that um, your grandfather liked to build might go next to it. So yeah. what might like you put next to the hammer? So I was going to put um, the food pantry, which is like one of the last projects we did, and basically people could just like drive up, and it would be at the end of the road, and they could just come out and like, even if they weren't driving, they could just walk by, and there would be food in it, which they could take. So that's the last big project that you well, and your grandfather did together? Yeah, so yeah. I could do like, um, kind of like this, and then like box, which needs to be in. So one of the things that um, we can think about is that it doesn't necessarily, mm -hmm. the, the pantry that you're drawing now doesn't necessarily have to be the right size next to the hammer. And also, you don't have to be particularly an artist to be doing graffiti, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because you can do any kind of you can, representation. You can do anything. Yeah, like, you can. You Art can't be messed up. You can do anything with it. That should be a quote. Art can't be messed up. You can do anything with it. We should make that into a poster next time. Across the wall, it can be anything <laughs> because it's coming out of your mind. All right, and it's also showing how much you loved your grandfather. Yeah. Okay, so you might want to think maybe of another kind of symbol that makes you think of your grandfather. Hmm, let's see. What, what were some other, like, things he did? What were some, like, big things he did? Well, he was always visiting us. That's, like, one big thing. Like, even if he had to go somewhere, he would always, like, just stop by to say hello or just come by to, like come over and like tickle us or something. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And those are some of your good memories of him. Yeah. So that he just stopped by. Hmm. What could I like kind of like draw as a symbol for that? Well, when I think of people visiting, I think of them knocking on the door or I think of how they are when they come in the door, what they might say. Hmm. So I guess I could like draw a door and like, yeah. Yeah, let's try like the ground doesn't show up a ton, so we can use like the box. Door. Door knob. Door knob. Yep. And we can like You know what sometimes shows up really good on red is blue or green. We can look for blue. You know what? That's funny because I'm actually colorblind to those two colors only. That's right. That's right. I should have remembered that from the last time. Okay, so we can. That is green. 
so we can do like a speech bubble. Yeah. yeah but like knock knock. Yeah. The speech bubble, do you know the technical term for that is Sumeti? I did not. Yeah. I don't know why I know that, but it's in my little pea brain. <laughs> That's kind of neat. So you have a knock knock. And did he have a special knock? Mm. Or somehow you just knew it was him? I can't like a hundred percent remember, but I can always like remember by his like voice. There you go. Yeah. He had a southern accent too, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. So we can what's the next question? The next question has to do with a slogan. Um, quite often a graffiti uh, artist would have like words that a person would be famous for saying or something about them. Hmm, so like a slogan, what could be good for like a slogan? Uh, what about like, um, here we could do something. He really likes like uh, fishing and he used like a violin a lot or something like uh, here, let's see, what could I do for that? Hmm, what could I do for like a slogan? Well, did he greet you with a particular thing? Like say, hi boy, or something like that, or? Um, um sometimes he would like, uh, he would give mom like these voicemails that would be like, I'm coming over to like tickle John or something. Maybe just the word tickle that makes you think about him. Were you a kid that liked that? Like, so like, what? Did you like getting tickled? It was fun. It was pretty fun. Yeah. Kids either really, really like it or they want to <laughs> punch the person who does it. <laughs> but you liked it. Because mm -hmm. you even brought a picture of him tickling you, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, at uh, Disneyland. Yeah, and who wouldn't? I mean, look at that little face you're making. I would want to tickle you to make you make that face. <laughs> All right. So. Okay, so you have that. Do you want to put anything around that word to sort of um, like it, make it stand out? Or do you like here, it like? What, what could we, I guess I could do like something. What could I do around that word? If mm -hmm. you think about like um, Batman type things and you think of the words like pow and stuff like that where they would put a design around it. Here I could do like a. Uh, yeah. Now there's a word for that, but I don't know what it is. Boom, very nice. Um, and also on um, memorial walls, people will put a date. And again, the artist can choose wherever they want it. Um, and it would be something like either the day the person died, or it could be their birthday, or it could be something that is speci special for that person. So I was going to do on um, like July 7th because that was the time, um, that was the day he got married. That's a good one. Yeah. So I could do, however, like, I could do like 7-7. Seven seven yeah. Across the brick, so. Seven. Very nice. And you could put, that was your granddad and your grandmother do you want to put their names next to the date uh well, <laughs> this is actually kind of funny because i'm i i don't actually remember my grandmother's like actual name because a lot of times we just call her mimi well you know what i can help you out with that <laughs> her actual name is Cher. oh no i remember <laughs> <laughs> his actual name is danny which you can remember because that's your name so we can do like the village. Yeah. And you know how to spell Dan, right? Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Do you want to put anything else on there? Maybe the day you were born? Um, that would be June fifth. Because so I'll do bet you that was a special like day for him. I could do seven, six, five, and 
I could do like, what could I do for like, should I do like my B day? Or yeah, something? you can do that. You have a birthday coming right up then soon, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to be three and a half? <laughs> no, I'll be ten. You'll be ten. Wow, double digits. Bugs Bunny is three and a half. Always, just so you know. <laughs> Another little thing in my pea brain doesn't need to be there. Okay, now, you will probably want to have your grandfather's name somewhere on there. Whatever size you want to have it be but this is going to be his memorial wall. So you might want to have his name on there, maybe with bubble letters. I could do that. So what could be like a color for that? Is it green and blue you can't tell? Yeah. It, okay. Here, let's do green. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's handy. It's right there. Here, let's see if I can find blue. You did. Look. You did it. So we can do. We should be doing like bubble letters, like so. And so, for the people who are doing this at home, there's instructions on the paper that you've gotten that show you how to do bubble letters. And Danny has uh, done some practicing with his bubble letters. So I can do like an A. And you did it perfectly. <laughs> I can do like a, here, M's gonna be kind of hard, but we'll see if I can do it. I think you did. Well, now I have to do it again. So there are two N's in Danny. Yeah. And then we can do kind of like, Very nice, very nice. Um, okay, now the next one is maybe a little bit hard. Um, and I know you had some of these questions already. So sometimes it's, it's hard when we think about the person that we love that's died. And sometimes feelings are not happy. You know, sometimes we can be angry about it. Sometimes we can be sad about it. And artists, it's a way of getting your feelings out. And lots of people, like some of the people that are gonna be watching this, might be having some hard feelings. And so maybe we can show that we can put a representation of that hard feeling. Here, so we can do like this one. So for this one, I was going to do, here, let's find an open space. Okay. So what kinds of things were you thinking about when you were thinking of something that's kind of hard? Well, I was going to do all of them. With like a hole in the middle. And then I was going to do something where I would basically like fill in the hole with people's names that like love me. Oh, that's wonderful. So a heart with a hole in the middle and you're gonna fill that with the names of people that love you. So you have, I see one brother's name and another brother's name. We can do dad. It's a little hard to see. But you know it's there and that's what counts. So you have your dad in there and your mm -hmm. mom. I can do some, I can. Do like my grandparents. Yeah, I think I'm kind of running out of room here, but. But that's okay, because it shows how it can fill up your heart too. And then there's a ton of other names that are in here. So in your mind, the hole is filled up with what you have around you to help you now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
you know, it's, it's hard to think about and it might be hard for people that are watching this. Um, so that was very brave for you to do that. And it might also make other people think about, um, you know, there's sad parts about it, but you can fill that sad part up. And there is still always going to be a few spaces where you do remember him and feel sad about him, but people that love you will fill it up and help you feel better about it. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Thank you for that. Um, and artists don't generally leave empty space. That's in the art world is called negative space. I and love this. yeah, so you might want to put an idea that you might have in that spot. Hmm. Like, about like what? It, what? <laughs> well, you can think about anything, like maybe the future. What kind of stuff would you think about in the future? How might you um, tell one of your children about your grandfather? Um, well, how would I tell, like? Hmm. Like, what did you get from him? Well, I got the most love from him, <laughs> like out of probably here. So we can write like, we could write like, nice so I don't know if people can see that but you just have a little love note there yeah it just says I love you from Danny yeah and you can just always have that that's a really nice idea now what we have um, left over here is yeah the squirt bottle and we haven't really had a chance to test it out but let's do it here let's see what else can I write down or sometimes you could just um, like I don't know how that's gonna look like how that's gonna come out neither do you <laughs> so we don't know if it's gonna come out like a splatter or what but let's here's a little bit of empty space you can test it mm, so what could I like what could I like write with this stuff I don't know if you're gonna write with that or uh, just here, let's, let's just, just see. see oh look at hey Pretty neat. Yeah, so it comes out and like that. So what could I do with this? It could just be that. <laughs> it could just be that. It could just be that. And it could just be that in various places on here. That could just be... <laughs> I'm just trying to like think of more things that I could like add on. Because you have spray paint in your hand and <laughs> you're not afraid to use it. <laughs> Just don't aim it at me, okay? Make sure you know where that's squirting. <laughs> or don't put it right between your own eyes. Yeah, that's that's probably not a good idea. Yeah, no. <laughs> Here, what else could I... I guess I could just put like a few of these around. Yeah. There is definite coolness factor that goes with that. Now it looks like graffiti. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Perfect. And I think this is really nice. It looks like you didn't leave any empty space and it has wonderful memories on there. And it also has a wonderful, that's a great portrait of your grandfather with his perfectly curly gray hair. Wonderful, thank you, Danny. You're welcome. All right. <laughs>